In this problem, we're going to evaluate the integral of e to the 3x. So there's two ways to do this problem. So solution one is to use a formula that's often given in certain books. The formula says if you have the integral of e to the ax, and it's with respect to x, if a is not zero, all you do is you write the e to the ax, and then you divide by a, and you add a constant. So in our example here, a is equal to 3. So we have the integral of e to the 3x dx, and so this is equal to e to the 3x, and then you divide by a, which is 3, and then plus c. So that would be the final answer. The other way to do it involves a technique called u substitution, so solution 2. In this technique, you let u be your inside function. So you let u be equal to 3x. Then you take the derivative of both sides using what's called differential notation. So when we take the derivative of u, we just write du. That's the derivative of u. And then here, the derivative of x is 1, so we just get 3 times 1 times dx. So du is equal to 3dx. So after we do this, we have to make what we have here look like what's in our integral. So you'll notice there's no 3 inside our integral. So what we do is we divide by 3 to make this match. So du over 3, we'll write that as 1 3rd du, and that's equal to dx. All right, now we can make our substitution. So this is equal to, so the dx is 1 3rd du. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the dx and pull the 1 3rd out. So we have 1 3rd integral, and then here we have our du. And then we're left with e, and what was 3x? Well, that was u, so e to the u. And now we can use the formula for e to the u. The integral of e to the u is e to the u. So this will be 1 3rd e to the u plus our constant of integration, capital C. But we said u was 3x, so this is 1 3rd e to the 3x plus capital C. And that would be the final answer.